This is um, the vehicle black box DVR high definition full HD dash cam. I'm open it up. You see it comes with a couple things. The dash cam itself, charger, and also as well, a suction cup. In order for us to use this camera, we need first a micro SD card that can be placed into here. And then also as well, we need to have it plugged in as well. So we're going to plug it in first. Inside the car, so we're going to give it power. And as you see, defaults to video mode, no card, no problem. Insert a SD card in. Okay, now we have the SD card. Okay, now we're ready to go. Okay, so now that we have power and we have the SD card, micro SD card in, we'll go through the options for this dash cam. Okay, so we have the up and the down button, the menu and the mode button and the OK button. Uh, to scroll through all different types of modes from this camera, there are four modes for it. So right now we're recording in uh, recording video mode. Oh, we can stop that for a second by just try pressing the OK button. We have a 3M here, so this is the photography mode. Uh, if you want to take a picture, you press OK. It will take a picture. We have the next mode, which is voice recorder. If you want to record uh, anything in your surrounding area, you press OK. It'll start recording. As you can see, the record button there. And to stop recording, also the red button, OK button. The last mode is uh, the media mode. So you can see there's a wave uh, file here. That was the auto recording I just did. But you can scroll through and you can see also as well that we have the recording uh, uh, when we started this uh, video originally. And what else do we got? Uh, we got a couple recordings here. Recording, recording, well it's eight recordings, nine recordings. And then there's a JPEG here. You go up and down. I just took a picture. And then as well, uh, there is a, a voice recording. Press record one more time. We're back in a video mode at 1080p. Um, so for each option, for each um, uh, for each mode that we have here, we have a menu system here. So let's start off with uh, the video mode here. So right now it's at 1080p. And then when you turn on your car, you can press OK and it'll start recording in loops. Uh, and then when you're done, you can press it again to stop. Now in order to uh, toggle between all the functions in this uh, for video, you press the menu button. And then we have a whole bunch of things here in the video mode. So first of all, we have the size of it. So you can toggle up and down between what options you want. Size is uh, the size of the video that you want. Uh, depending on your SD card size, your micro SD card, you may want it to be at a lower resolution. There are three resolutions here. I'll keep mine at the highest. There is a timestamp option, which gives you uh, the ability to have a watermark date on the video itself. Um, motion detection, which I can go through later. Uh, there is a video time, so that's how many, how long the video will be before it creates a new video. So for video one, once it's done three minutes, it'll create a new file, uh, and a new movie file, and that'll be video two, and it'll be three minutes long, then after three minutes, it'll create another file after that. We have the voice recorder, we can turn that on and off, um, depending if you want to record the sound inside the car, as well as any outside uh, uh, sounds as well. And that's about it for the video options. Okay, let's go back to mode here. Go back to mode here. We're in picture mode here now. Click on menu, and then these are the options for uh, photography, uh, for taking any photos. Press the OK button, we just had the file size, 3 megapixels, 2 megapixels, 1.3, and VGA. Not very many options here, uh, but it's good to uh, at least have a couple things. Press menu, press menu, and uh, see here, uh, we have other options as well. Uh, in this option here, we have uh, general settings for this. So, the options that we have here is the format, uh, the SD card if we want to. Uh, you can do that by pressing OK, scrolling down, and then pressing the OK button again, and it'll format uh, the SD card nice and clean. 
Uh, we have language, English, you can change to many different languages. This uh, turns off by uh, after a minute, so we turn that on or off. Uh, we can also change um, it to different times as well. System reset, so we can reset to the factory settings uh, that this came in if we want to. We also have the light frequency 60 hertz or 50 hertz. Uh, this depends on the incandescent uh, lights that you have in your car outside. Um, it can stop flickering on the screen itself. So if you see any flickering, you might want to change this instead to uh, 50 hertz instead of 60 hertz. Okay, and then we have date input. If you want to include the date and time, very simple. You just go uh, press OK to that, and then you can change the date up or down. And then my date's OK, so I just press OK, 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 and OK. USB. Uh, this is to see the files. If you have your SD card in, you can plug this in using a USB uh, cable to put into your into your computer and you can see the files pop up as if it was a USB drive or a USB key. And then you can see the version of uh, if there is any updates to this, what version this is or uh, what model it is. So let's uh, let's press menu, escape, we're in photography mode right now as you can see. So let's press menu again. We are in voice recording mode. If you want to make any changes to that you can press the menu button and it goes back to here. Uh, what else we got here? No media here, so I formatted the card earlier, so there's no media here as well. And um, we go back to uh, video mode here. So what we could do um, uh, when we're in the car, we can set it up where we can uh, just press. Uh, as soon as it turns on, it actually starts recording. Uh, if you don't want it to record for whatever reason, you can just press OK to stop it, and then press OK again to start it again and you can see by the red dot there that it is recording. Uh, one thing that you can do as well, um, the option on this, aside from having uh, a nighttime and daytime, nighttime you press up, or you press down, sorry, and you can have a nighttime mode with a light, or daytime mode without a light, as you can see. There's also motion detect in here as well. So we're in the video mode, press menu, and we have here motion detect. If you scroll down and we press OK to that. So motion detect is used for if you park your car and there's a disturbance around your car, uh, this will start recording uh, for 20 seconds and then turn off again unless the motion continues. It also depends on how much battery is left in this, whether it is charging through uh, the lighter, the the 5 uh, volt po uh, port or if it's uh, being powered by something else. Uh, we can leave that on, we can press OK, I can press menu to get out of this, menu get out of this. So this should be in motion detect mode. So we're not in the car right now but I'll just create a disturbance just by, uh, just by turning it here like this. And then there you go. There's a little bit of disturbance, so you can see at the red dot there that it just started recording without uh, me pressing the button. And the last thing we need to go through here is uh, putting on a suction cup uh, for your windshield onto there. So pretty simple. You just have to slide this in like so, push down. And it's on. Simple as that. Rotate it and tighten it so it stays in place. So that's not moving very much. Then you can tighten it a little bit there. Okay, and then you stick it on your windshield and you're good to go.